What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Hey, I'm so glad to be back. They said I can come back again, y'all. This may be my last time because, you know, I'm not, I'm not the best video person in the world. But hey, I'm glad to see you again. I missed you. It is I, Tristan Brown, and I've missed you so much. How many times can I say that in video? I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Hey, but go ahead and pull up your Bible today. I guess I'm doing this by myself. You know, it's weird. I thought my green bean buddy would be here. Hey, oh, it's me, hey. Toby Randy Keys. My mom was going to tell me. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I was just warming them up for you, you know? Right, you're right. The, you're the star, Toby. Thanks. Let's, let's be honest. Thanks, Tristan. I am. <laughs> well, you, you got your Bible, right? We're I gonna, got my we're Bible. We're going to be busting it out today in James 5 today. James 5, okay? Let's All right. do this. So I'm, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to read it and you repeat after me. Okay. Because you okay. sound so good as an echo, you know? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Here we go. So confess your sins. So confess your sins. To one another. Goodness. To one another. Pray Mr. Tristan, yes, sir. I cheated on a test the other day. Oh. I also said a really mean word to my mom. What you said? Um, here, whisper, whisper. To me. I said. To blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, <laughs> it's hey, hey, funny, hey. Right? That's not good. Toby, you're, oh, man. you're right. That Come was on, a Toby. sin. It's all right. Don't say that stuff. <laughs> it's okay, Toby. We we forgive you. Yes. Okay, God forgives you. So I guess I'll I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you too. Thank I you. Guess. Now I need to think of what other sins I can uh, well, confess. I think that's gonna take too long. So let's go back to this verse. Okay. Let's, let's start over. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Actually, we'll do it a little different too. So I need all okay. my boys to stand on Ooh. up and go ahead because you're strong, right? You're yeah. a strong boy. Strong. You get your chest out and put yeah. your arms out yeah. and say this with me. So confess your sins. So confess your sins to one another. To one another. Pray for one another. Pray for one another. So that you may be healed. So you may be healed. James 5. James 5. 16. 16. All right, that's easy. That's easy. All right, so now I need my, my beautiful young girls. Yeah. You know, you, can, you got your hair all nice. You can give me one of them little, them little hair whips, you know. So go ahead well, and whip well, your hair well, one time. Well. Like, you whip it back. If, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, here we go, ladies. Say it with okay. me. So confess your sins. So confess your sins. To one another. To one another. Pray for one another. Pray for one another. So that you may. So that you may. Be healed. Be healed. James 5. James 5. 16. 16. See, that, that's so easy. Come on. Yeah. We just, we just got to tell each other we mess up. Like, that's right. Like before we came in here today, I tripped Miss Andrea going down the stairs. Oh. I think she fell. Wow. And Mr. Then, Trison, that's not nice. And instead of helping her up. I laughed. What? <laughs> but, you know, hey, Wait. God is going to forgive me. That's right. Miss Andrew, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You know what? Let's, let's go to the next yeah, video. Let's, let's watch this video real quick. Okay. okay. Bye. God's story. Nehemiah. So part of God's story is about a guy named Nehemiah, and it goes like this. Remember God's family? They were called the Israelites because they lived in, you guessed it, Israel. But some of them lived far away from their home, and one of those guys was Nehemiah. He lived in Persia and worked for the king. One day, his brother told him that a city in Israel called Jerusalem was suffering, and many people there weren't following God anymore, and their city wasn't in very good shape. Nehemiah cried, God, you are wonderful, but your family's home is in trouble. Please help us. When I serve the king his wine today, make him pleased with me and have him do what I ask. Later, when Nehemiah served the king's wine, the king noticed that Nehemiah looked sad. So the king asked why. Nehemiah told him about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back to rebuild the wall. The king could have killed Nehemiah for asking to leave, but instead he said go. He even helped. That's because God heard Nehemiah's prayer and answered it. Anyway, Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall, but little did he know he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and these enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people helping him. First, they made fun of them. So Nehemiah prayed again. He said, God, some people hate us, Please get rid of them, and went back to work. Now, God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect or even in the way we want. And at first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all, because when the enemy saw that Nehemiah was still building, they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer even if it didn't feel like it. And God did! 
He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plan and warn Nehemiah. Even though the enemies were still after him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, Don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord. He is great and powerful. And on they worked, building, building, building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. Hmm, time for something else. They tried everything. They sent messages to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah had asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But Nehemiah trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest, and he refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids, are you willing to listen to God and obey Him no matter what? Well, finally, the wall was done. God's family got to go home again. And Nehemiah's enemies found that nothing stops God's plans. The Israelites celebrated and praised God. And as they praised, they realized how much their sins had hurt God. And they felt terrible. They told God they were sorry and thanked Him for helping them. Then they made a brand new promise to follow Him. And Jerusalem was once again a safe place where people honored God. And that's the story of Nehemiah. But just so you know, there's another story where God fixes something that's broken. See, one day, God would send a very special rescuer, not to save a wall, but to save the world. He made it possible for not just Israelites, but everyone in the whole world to confess their sin to God, thank Him for His rescue, and follow Him. And just like that old wall was made new back then, our old lives can be made new right now because Jesus has rescued us. And that's a part of God's story. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Our big idea today is God calls us to share our struggles with one another and to pray for each other. So would you guys pray with me right now? God, we thank you so much for this day, for each person who is watching this video and who helped with this video. I pray that you would just remind us that we can lean on each other and that we can go to each other with our struggles just like we go to you and help us to remember to pray for each other daily. In your name, amen. All right, guys, I hope you learned a lot this video and don't forget to come back every week for more videos and more services. Bye. <laughs>